Grade 5 Math, number 7.2. We're multiplying fractions in this chapter. Multiply fractions and whole numbers using models. We can use models to help us understand and solve equations of multiplying fractions and whole numbers. Take a look at this one. 2 thirds times 4. This is to multiply a fraction by a whole number. We're asking ourselves, how many thirds? Well, if we had two-thirds four times, which is what this is saying, we have two-thirds times four. We would draw four boxes and fill in two-thirds of them and then count the thirds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-thirds. So two-thirds times four is eight-thirds. So we drew the two-thirds four times, we counted the pink squares, each little square represents one-third, so we filled in two-thirds. And we remembered that two-thirds times four is the same thing as two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds. If you added up the numerators, you'd get eight. And if you added up these boxes, you'd get eight. So eight pink boxes out of the twelve, so it's eight-thirds. When we have eight-thirds, it's an improper fraction. And we know that 3 thirds is equal to 1. How many can we pull out of here? Well, 3 thirds and 3 thirds. That would be 6. And then a 2 thirds would be 7 8. So we have 1 whole, 2 whole, and 2 thirds. So 2 and 2 thirds. See? Now, to go the other way, we did a fraction by a whole number. To mu multiply a whole number by a fraction, 3 times 1 seventh, we can make one bar that has seven boxes in it. And we can fill in one seventh, we can fill in another seventh, and another seventh. So we did it three times. Then we can see the answer is three sevenths. Now we could have made three boxes, I mean three bars, and then filled in one seventh on each one of them. We still would have gotten three sevenths. So just remember, three times one seventh is like saying one seventh plus one seventh plus one seventh. It's three sevenths. So we drew the bar, we split it into seven, we filled in three, remembered that we could count one-seventh three times. Three green boxes out of the seven is three-sevenths, okay? Now, if we have this one, seven-eighths times three, we've got three bars that are split into eighths. And the reason we pick eighths is because that's what the denominator is. We filled each one seven times, so seven-eighths of each bar was filled in. We count the number of green boxes, and we get 21. Seven-eighths and seven-eighths and seven-eighths. That's basically what we're doing. It's the same thing as seven-eighths times three. We count the numerators, or the green boxes, and get 21-eighths. Now that's an improper fraction, and we need to simplify it. How many eight-eighths can we pull out of it? One eighth eighth and another eighth eighth would be sixteen eighths. We still have five to go. So that means we have two and five eighths as our answer when we simplify it. Now what if you saw this and you needed to write an equation for this one? Well, how many full bars do you see? I see three. And how many boxes are in each bar? One, two, three, four, five. So we know our denominator is five. And how many are filled in in each box? Four in each box. So we've got three. Let me move this over. We've got three times four fifth. How many do you see that are pink? 4, 8, 12 fifths. Now how many 5 fifths can we get out of this so that we can simplify it? We can get 1 5 fifth and another 5 fifth. That's 10 fifths. And then there's little 2 fifths left over, isn't there? So that equals 1, 2, and two-fifths. 
See? Wasn't that easy? So, remember that when you're reducing a fraction to its simplest form, you divide the numerator and denominator by the same number, and you keep reducing until you're sure it's the smallest it can be. So like 3 6 can be divided by 3 with the numerator and denominator, and it'll become a half. Okay? So keep that in mind. It won't always get a product that is simplified already. Many, many times you're going to have to simplify. Okay? So that's how we multiply fractions and whole numbers using models. And I'll see you next video. Bye.